Hello, everybody. Good evening. And uh, I must say that I'm really humbled to be here as a part of India Inclusion. And I'm here actually to talk about my work, my art, and my relationship to it. You are seeing some of my works here, but how, how did I reach or how did I know that I wanted to be a painter? I would like to share, I think I've never shared this with anyone, and the children with special needs have a very, very important space in my heart. I have always tried to work in coordination with a lot of organizations, whoever have uh, tried to contact me, without telling my affiliation or the reason why I wanted to be close to them and work closely with these children. I would like to share that with you today. My affair with paintings or color or line or the mystery of that dot started very early, like all children. But I didn't know that this was what I really intended to do or was wanting to do. Till the time, my parents, I was a very introverted kid and I would barely speak. Both the other siblings of mine, they were very uh, extroverted, they were very friendly and they would, you know, go out and everything. But I, as a small child of two or three years of age, was very, very introverted all the time, trying to do things my own way and I wanted, I didn't want any interaction even in the house, even at my own home, even in my own place. In 60s, it was uh, not a very, very, uh, I think, an open thing to uh, talk about your child as having some kind of a disability. My, but my father was extremely worried, he thought, I have to know and understand what is the reason. So uh, he contacted one of, uh, there was a German psychiatrist and uh, he went up to him and, uh, you know, they conducted some very, very simple tests of, you know, sort of dropping coins and stuff and he realized that I was not even interested. I was just thinking or staring at some place. So he just told my dad that, why don't you introduce her to colors? and see if there is a change, she will become a good artist, a great artist or whatever. And if she doesn't, well, then you're in a trouble and uh, you please uh, contact some other people, but uh, some doctors and stuff. But as uh, the time would have it, my parents, they just uh, sort of, loaded me with colors and paper and all kind of material and I still remember, I still remember how I painted, how furiously I was in such a hurry to finish each and every painting that came in front of, the paper which came in front of me, I wanted to just color it and the affair has not ended. Till date, it, the affair has not ended. And as uh, I was listening to uh, the person who was talking about Sampurna and uh, Kiran Bedi's uh, sister, Rita, that family is uh, a very, very important base for every child, whether the child is with special needs, special uh, disabilities, abilities, I think the family is the first space, the first people who sort of make the child so comfortable with himself. And they open up a world for him. My parents opened up a world for me. And today I am standing here before you. I don't think I, 
I can face anything with any, you know, any kind of a situation. And painting still continues to be my best friend. I now consider it to be my mother because I feel that this was the closest way for her to be with me by introducing all this, you know, uh, this kind of a connection. So this is uh, what I am and this is the first time I think I've ever talked about this uh, because I was so moved by this inclusion uh, summit. I don't think there is anything happening anywhere and to hear so many people come forward, I'm sure this is going to go uh, to much, much more, uh, you know, wider uh, spaces and be, uh, higher heights and achieve much, much more and help a lot more children, a lot more people. So, uh, I leave you with some of my works. These are the expressions that I work in. I don't work only in one medium as a painter. Uh, I consider myself a creative person, so I keep uh, moving my dimension from uh, line to uh, sculpture, to uh, performance, to films, to conceptual arts, and to various other means, like I've even written a book. So uh, I feel as a creative person, you've got a lot of uh, ways and a lot of, uh, you know, uh, spaces to explore. And I try to keep doing that. I hope, uh, uh, you know, the, the work which is here, which has been given to the India Inclusive for the uh, as a full donation, it goes for a good cause. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Seema. I'd like to invite uh, Major D.P. Singh to please come on stage and facilitate Seema. Thank you. And of course, that beautiful painting you see displayed on stage is from the Golden Womb Collection, and that's what Seema has donated to the Inclusion India, India Inclusion Summit. Thank you, Major.